in this video we will see how we will create a external client app and uh, once after creating how we can authenticate it and use it in postman okay so let's start okay before this you need to go in setup external client app manager okay then click on new external client app. Let me create a test one. Just sort of populate it. Test postman app two. It's important to give a valid contact email because later it will send you the verification code so that you can get your client ID and secret. Okay. So we give the client app name contact email distribution state as local and then in api we just click enable auth i just want to get this one in callback url just give like this login.salesforce.com Okay, then enable client credential flow because you want to go with this flow. Okay, and rest you just keep as it is, click create. Okay, we need to give it in a valid format. Now it should be okay. Okay, it is created. Now, once it is created, we need to edit the policies here. Okay. So just edit it. In the start page, select auth because you want to use auth. Then in auth policies, either you can select this, all users can self-authorize and auth URL you can give here. Or you can select this admin approved user or pre-approved but we will use this one and here we will give the auth start is url okay then enable client credential flow and for which user you want to run as give your username here i will give it later okay so let me give the auth url first So this will be our auth start URL, okay? And in this, we will give our username. Now let me check the username here. See, we have given the auth start URL here. Okay. Then we need to give us username. Uh, let's see what is our username. So we have given the username. In which user context you want to run this external app. So you need to give that here. Okay. If you want to change this app authorization things, you can change, but I will keep as it is. And here I will relax the IP restrictions. Okay. Then all should be okay. Save it. So it is created. So once you, after creating, you come to settings, then come in auth settings and click on this consumer key and secret. then it will give you the verification code 
it will ask. So that's why I was saying that the contact email is important. And copy those things because later we will need it to authenticate in Postman. Okay, so we are good. But before going to Postman, just go to settings and the apps. Okay. And enable this. Allow access to external app consumer secrets via REST API. If you want for the metadata API also, you can enable this one also. But we will use REST API. So we just enable this one. Okay. It's your choice. So our app is ready. Then we just authenticate in Postman. So let's go to Postman. Let's create a new collection. Create a new blank collection. Okay. And in authorization, select auto 2.0. Then new collection is test or just give connect external app. Okay. So auth 2.0. Request header, available token, keep as it is, bearer, enter the token name. Token name, just give personal or, or whatever name you want to give. Here we will select client credentials. So here you need to give the domain name, your org domain name. Okay. So this is my access token URL. Okay. Then you need to give client ID and secret as variable. Okay, done. Save it. And then try to get the new access token. So authentication is complete. Proceed, use token. And then you will see our token is here. Okay. So this is this is how you can create a external app in your Salesforce org. Okay. And after that, you can authenticate in Postman. Okay. And after that, you can make your request. Okay. I hope you guys like the video. Thank you so much.